So what are the ways that increased pressure in my internal jugular vein? Well, there's three main methods. First of all, I might put the patient head down, and that really helps because it means that there's a pressure gradient and the pressure in that vein rises. And you can see this under ultrasound, you can see the vein actually expanding as soon as you do the head down maneuver. If the patient was awake, I might get them to do a valsalva maneuver, and again, that increases your intrathoracic pressure, which then means that your internal jugular vein is gonna expand. Now, often I'm doing it in a much more controlled situation in theater. Invariably, the pressure under ventilation is always high in the internal jugular vein. Now, to prevent venous embolism, essentially there can't be any communication from the outside atmosphere into the vein, and the high risk time is once my needle is in. Let's say I take my syringe off. Right now, I've got an open, exposed air point of entry into the vein. So I make sure, first of all, that there's blood flowing, and also my thumb can provide a blockage or an obstruction to any air entry. So that's one of the simple techniques that I'll use to prevent air embolism. And that's probably the most at-risk time. Now imagine I had an open needle and the patient took a deep breath in or there was already negative pressure for whatever reason, then it's a really high risk for venous air embolism.